we're looking at a great game called Zombie Tycoon 2, Brain Hov's Revenge. Hey everyone, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're checking out this great new game called uh, Zombie Tycoon 2, Brain Hoff's Revenge. We'll watch the cutscene so you can get a good idea what the graphics are like. Uh, it's Tegra optimized. Right now it's only out for the shield, and we'll see why. It's a fairly complicated game that you're going to need the controls for. It's a direct PS3 port, which, you know, it kind of tells you just how powerful Android's getting. Uh, it's... You know, you've got multiplayer stuff from Google Play built in. Here you can go through and set it up. You can pick your side, you know, your your faction. Uh, go through it and find one of your friends to invite. Right now, none of this is live. This is a press version. You go through. There's a leaderboard that is empty because this is a press version. They won't let me on there. I would be the champion because nobody else is playing. Uh, you've got achievements. You can see I've scored a couple just playing through, trying to learn the game. Uh, different controls, you can invert the axes on your joysticks, uh, speed of your cursor, different things there. And when we get down here, you'll, you'll see every button on this shield is in use. So this game is going to be a trick on a touch screen. Interesting if they even try. Of course, you can jam the audio the whole way up because the shield does pump out some tunes. Gameplay is pretty easy. Uh, you move your cursor to you know, where you want to go, and you send troops and squads of zombies. You do that, uh, move the cursor with the joystick, press different buttons to move your zombies. Uh, the other buttons come into play, too, for more advanced topics. When your zombies get in place, they are more than happy to kill zombies from the other side. Uh, sometimes some other, you know, non-player character zombies. That sounds really weird to say. Uh, the gameplay itself... Pretty slick. It sounds and looks like something that's going to be a lot of fun, uh, yet pretty involved. We will have to withhold judgment until we play with this one a little longer. So far, I'm really liking what I see. Uh, you know, if you are looking for something on Android that's a little bit immersive, you're going to spend a lot of time on this one getting good at it. And that can be a good thing, especially if you've got a shield with the great controls. Talk to you later. I'm out of here.